Good evening. My name is Wesley Fields, managing partner of the Kansas City office of Brian Cave, Leighton Paisner, and we are a proud sponsor of this year's Midwest Innocence Project's Faces of Innocence Gala. In fact, we're excited to be a part of this event every year because of the tremendous work this organization does to further the exoneration and the release of wrongfully convicted people in the Midwest. We are thankful for all those who joined us this evening to support this organization and their powerful mission, which strives to eliminate long-standing bias in the criminal justice system. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your evening.
So today we're going to learn how to make a classic Bees Knees cocktail for you to enjoy at home. It's really easy. Today we're going to be using a really wonderful western style botanical gin made right here in Kansas City. It's Tomstown Gin. The nice thing about classic cocktails is you can usually pretty easily switch out the base spirit. So if you prefer vodka, you can definitely use vodka. And if you choose to use whiskey, you're now making a classic Gold Rush cocktail. So let's get started. I'm just going to add some ice to my shaker. If you don't have a shaker at home, that's okay. If you do want to shake, you can use a mason jar. If you don't want to shake and you want to stir over some ice, that's okay too. It's going to taste delicious either way. We're going to start with an ounce and a half of Tomstown Gin. And then we're going to use equal parts of honey syrup and fresh lemon juice. Honey syrup, it's really easy to make at home. It's just important that you mix equal parts hot water and honey to get that honey to dissolve before you put it in with the cold mixture of the drink. So we're gonna do three quarter ounce of that honey syrup and three quarter ounce of lemon juice. And that's it. Now we're just gonna give it a shake. We shake to make sure that the uh, sugars and the citrus are properly bound together. But like I said, if you just want to stir it over some ice in a glass just to get some dilution, you'll be fine as well. I'm just straining out some of the extra ice, but also not necessary, just kind of a detail. Not the classic bee's knees. Cheers.
Hi, I'm Clayton Reed. Very proud to be a board member of the Midwest Innocence Project, and Jenny and I are just thrilled to be in part of the Faces of Innocence event this year. You know, Trisha, her team, the many volunteers in the community that make a difference throughout the Midwest around social justice are just crucial. And when you think about the program tonight with Dr. Yusuf Salam and Willem Senya Shields, to have them involved at this moment and this time is just thrilling. I hope that uh, you'll contribute in any way you can and enjoy the program. Hi, I'm Laura Welch with the Welch Family Foundation. From its inception, the foundation has been involved with the Faces of Innocence, and we're honored to be a part of this important project. I'd like to thank Trish, the staff, board of directors, and all the volunteers for their tremendous work to further exonerate and release those who have been wrongfully convicted in the Midwest. Thank you.
Thank mm-hmm. you.